What is going on everyone? We're going to be coming in with a kind of shorter video, a little bit quicker, a little bit more scuffed. This was taken while we were in Jamaica, just taking a break from the Rays. And I was teaching my brother how to play Digimon card game. We initially got him the Gallopmon starter deck, but after seeing Mimi, he decided he wanted to go green. And with the spares that I had from EX2, we decided to go green. I'm going to be playing Mother D Reaper into him, just to play one of the weaker decks that I had on hand. Starting off with the Searcher after winning the coin toss. And then he is going to choke me straight back. He has actually played a decent amount of the Gallimon starter deck over TTS. And this was after we played a couple of games, uh, me testing his Gallimon X uh, deck against this kind of green uh, gacha deck almost. But that matchup's pretty bad for green, so I tried switching this for the game we recorded. And standard Mother D Reaper stuff, just putting down the Searcher, playing the bubbles for reduced cost. That's gonna get the choke to two, and two searches underneath, the bubbles having it done its job. Didn't choose to go for a memory counter or anything like that for this game. This one is just kind of gonna be like a quick and dirty one just to get it out there, because I know it's been a while since I've actually done any matches. Obviously the deck profiles have been coming out and people have been watching them, so I appreciate everyone that's been uh, actually giving those the time of day. The production value has gone up in the most recent one and that's going to be the standard going forward. But for this, just keeping something nice and simple, I've got the Henry up for the cards my brother is playing just because the camera doesn't quite show them. And all in all, despite this deck being a very wonky deck, he actually put it into pretty good use in the best of three that we played. Mother D Reaper just getting bigger and bigger. And with three underneath, I'd now be sitting at six. I'm just going to check that top cut, looking for a D Reaper. And then bottom decking the other two. So the fireball is going to go down. I want to say that the uh, pendulum feet was picked up just to keep searching for those searches. Horrendous glare directly over his cards. Really, this is just the most difficult video to actually see what uh, he's actually up to. But set to three thanks to Henry. And another Ditchy Egg getting hatched. I think here I'm just explaining to him how the Mother D Reaper works. He's trying to figure out whether he could suspend the card or anything like that. Just kind of explaining how she puts the game on a timer and kind of how the whole gimmick of the deck works. He's going to Digivolve Pulsemon over in the back from the BT8 filler that actually puts in a decent amount of work since it is that all turns. If they've had a quite an aggressive turn, then you can punish quite hard for going wide. It kind of stops me from going for any cheeky swings here because I'm not too worried about getting pierced back. And there's going to be the Mega Gargamon coming down for five. When did you evolve in for every Chitamer you have in play? Bounce that. So he's going to suspend one. So not as big a turn for Mega Gargamon for him here. Just wanted to get up into the Mega, get some cycle going. Jerry is going to come down. And at zero, can check those top five, get that searcher in, change the order. I think putting the hero towards the top. Just because still no memory tamer out. Uh, gonna have pendulum feet swing of security, gonna hit the steam on, which is kind of annoying actually, because it's gonna play itself straight to the field and on play suspend that remaining pendulum feet. So now everything is rested. And Bubbles is going to come down for five. I want to get that blocker out to at least protect Jerry. But definitely in hindsight a misplay. Normally I would declare blocker. Most people know what Creep Hands does. Obviously my brother being a new player wasn't quite aware of 
uh, creep hands being the deck's sole blocker. Which is a bit unfortunate because he definitely will sacrifice a little bit of momentum here. Fire memory, obviously, a lot to play with. And he's going to move the Pulsemon out. It does have the Gummymon underneath it. Going to go into the Gargamon for two. With that Gargamon, he's going to be looking for a level five to go into. Just try and get the reduced cost. So it goes for the first swing at the Pendulum of Feet, but because the blocker is there, it will delete it. So that's something that he would have been able to draw the block if he'd realized. Uh, or if he'd gone with the Gargomon, which would have gained plus three to swing over it, would have been able to draw the block and get the delete, and then swing from there. But just since he wasn't aware that the blocker was there for 6k, attacked kind of in the wrong order. So yeah, I was just uh, explaining how blocker works to him. And then, yeah, the Gargomon with the plus 1k three times would have gone up. But because the card was uh, suspended, the Gummymon is going to proc, so he gets to draw one, and then he's swinging. He is going to return two cards, because he does have two Henry's out. With the bounce, getting rid of the more annoying targets, he's just going to swing, take out the Pendulum Feet. Unfortunately, this is over the Minomon egg, which was really just there to give him eggs. It's not useful at all in this deck, and hopefully we'll get him more useful green eggs eventually. So I feel with two bubbles. Get that searcher up, get that searcher in. I think we're at six searchers now. So I nearly have Reaper on board. And he hasn't done much with the security. Swinging at the security, just going to chip him down a little bit. Going to swing twice, going to hit the Grand Quagamon, and that is going to kill. Jerry going to come down for reduced cost. Check that top five for the searchers. I see two targets there, so one goes in. Just put the button underneath. And that is going to see them at seven. Creep hands once again comes down for five. I'm looking to block for the Jerry. Although I don't think it matters, because I think the Gargomon would bounce her back to hand anyway. So the blocker I don't actually think is going to do that much. Also, when swinging the Henry, the third Henry coming down, uh, when swinging anyway, he could suspend the card. So he's going to swing, this time with the increased power, plus two puts him at seven. And the block actually isn't going to work out because the Henry is going to tap one Henry and suspend since he's got the suspension and draws one and he's swinging for seven or well, 8k now. Swinging for 8k. I'm not sure if he's going to go security. He's been doing a lot of board control, but obviously for those of us more experienced, we know that Mother D Reaper, you really do need to start rushing it down. And he has been quite passable, things considered. Gonna swing, hits the Palatie's head. And with three Henrys, that is the whole board gone. When Mega Gargamon swings, bounce everything back. And that is gonna hit the fireball. Nothing to delete, so draw two. Still no tamers in play, but security options, so we take it. And he has managed to choke to one. Oh no, he's still on one, rather. Got his turn left to play out. So he is looking at the Shurimon now, but I was just explaining him how uh, Armor Purge works. So since it is still green, he can obviously digivolve it up in the back. And the Armor Purge isn't of any use without a Digimon underneath. So he's probably going to take that back. Yeah, gonna take that back, stay on one.
I don't know. This is a really good example of how his deck works. We can see the Digivolution plugin S to get the draw one. Uh, and he does Digivolve the Shurimon in the back. But technically he shouldn't be able to do that because it's not on the field. It would be the Gargomon itself that would have to Digivolve. All in all, not going to matter too much. We're going to get the Search it down, get it sucked up, and more than enough to bring in Reaper for zero cost, and that is exactly what we're going to do. Take all of those out and start swinging. So this is the first game against the Reaper, so obviously playing a lot more passive than he probably should have. Swings and hits the Grand Quagamon, still safe. Swing in now at 17k. Flower Cannon's going to suspend. It's already suspended. And then unsuspend swing for game. So that is going to be game number one. I'll lead one to zero. And the opposite for me to go first, again, just showing a little bit of inexperience in the matchup, is a very, very new player. And it's done pretty well. This is probably one of the best games that he's had uh, with this green deck. But just experience in the Mother Do rematch up is lacking. Opting to go second. But he is going to set up the Henry. Not going to get the uh, Terrymon effect because it is still in raising. But at Henry down early, avoids getting choked. Search it down. And Bubbles once again opens up. Gets two searches underneath. And. It's up to four. I feel like it should have been three. Yeah, it should have been three. Just overcompensated with the swing. Hopefully not going to be too much of a change. This is one of the only matches we got recorded whilst we are in Jamaica. We ended up obviously having a lot to do over the two weeks. Only we really got one day spent actually just chilling indoors and playing, so. Not our best games, not our best angle, but we did what we could. Wanted to try and at least get something uh, recorded whilst we were abroad. Gonna see the flower can and just swing over the bubbles. All in all, it doesn't matter that much. It's already done its job on play, of course. And then, the Makamon ready for his own searches. Pendulum feet comes in, finds two searches, sorely needed. Play one, get it underneath. And if we do have another bubbles, then we can do that to pass turn. No, we're actually going to go for the Jerry, which will then put him straight back to three, thanks to the Henry. Okay, gonna go for the main effect on the Mechamon to check. Finds the Grand Coagamon, is gonna unfortunately bottom deck the green memory boost. But he got his searches out anyway. What is he gonna do with that? Two level fours, goes the Ko Kabuterimon. Another example of how this deck really is just put together from what green spares are available. We're lacking other level 3s and that uh, card won't have blocker because there's no blues in this deck at all. So it really is just a level 3 that was on hand. Considering swinging with the Togemon, it's going to... No, it's actually going to... Digivolve. Digivolve's raw. See, so he was... I think he was considering swinging. It doesn't look like he was considering the download option. Okay, no. He's going to go for the download and then Digivolve over it. Uh, and that is going to reduce the cost, making it one. Keeping his turn. And then we know he has Grand Kuagamon. 
But no, he's going to go for the Dino Rexmon. That's the BT7 one to uh, suspend something that doesn't unsuspend during the next phase. Then during your turn, plus 1k for all suspended units. So kind of a surprise there. Comes in for 4 cost. And Jerry is going to stay suspended. This time picking the right target. I think he's just straightening up his stank now. No, okay. He does choose to kind of digivolve sideways over cars that are suspended, which is a funny quirk to me for sure. Okay, no, it does actually choose to fix the stack, so it's just a little bit more readable. Alright, so Jerry suspended. Pendulum feet out. Yeah, now we come on. Gone. And since it's 3k or less, nothing to delete. We'll get the draw 2 off the fireball. I'm assuming I must have a hero off screen. Must be a hero off screen, because I'm not seeing hero at all. No red sources yet, so I wouldn't be able to play there. Again, seeing this putting him to four. Digivolution plugin S gonna come in two cost. Get that draw one. He's obviously gonna be looking for the Mega Gargamon. Isn't going to get the Mega Gargamon like inherit or anything. Well, the uh, digivolving effect because he is getting the cost completely ignored. You can get a suspension there with a the rapid mon. Okay, and draw for Digivol. Actually no, I think it's draw for the gummy mon effect. On. He chose to play a lot more aggressively this time, swinging at security, we're going to hit a fireball, and that's going to be a draw too. And Palmon coming in for three on deletion will suspend. Yeah, okay, I've gone to three, so there's definitely a hero in play. Search it down. at them getting sucked up. I think it's still at five security. I don't think we've actually seen any swings. I guess we'll find out. Looks like time is up. Reaper swings in. Let's see what's in store. First check. Second. Third. Fourth. And the fifth check. And then bubbles for game. So, definitely not the cleanest bid that we've had in terms of production value, but we'll be back up to our regular our regular level of production value coming soon. This is that green deck we've put together with a bunch of spares. If you guys enjoyed the video, even if it's a bit short, I'll see you next time.